It seems that you guys really enjoyed in my last pro tips and tricks video. What is up, Scrarmy? How's it going? Rocktick here, back again in the another tips and tricks pro tips and tricks video. <laughs> let's just roll the intro and let's get started. Today, I'm gonna teach you what is the most important item in the game. What is the item? And I'm not talking about 10 out of 10 thread, I'm actually talking about something that you can use for the multiple stuff. You can get that item right in the beginning. As soon as you spawn, you can get that item. And that item is gonna carry you for so, so long. Are you ready? Stone X, ladies and gentlemen. Stone X. And the reason why is Stone X the most important item is because first, you can craft it immediately. As soon as you respawn, you make a stone knife, you cut your inmate shirt, you cut those two regs so you can get reg stripes. And don't worry about zero energy, zero hydration. I'm in single player mode. I'm trying to teach you guys something. I'm trying to teach you a valuable lesson. You craft improvised rope. You cut down some kind of a bush or a branch. It really doesn't matter. You need small stick. You need one small stick. Now. You search for a little bit more rocks. You craft small stone X head and you're done. You can craft. The most valuable, the most important tool in the game, Stone X. The reason why Stone X is the most important item in the game is because you can do so many things with the Stone X. First off, it takes three slots. That's it. And you can do so many different stuff. You can cut down the trees, you can cut down them in the planks. While cutting trees, the bigger the tree is, more logs, more sticks you're gonna gain. You are grinding that fame points like I already explained in multiple times in my videos. When you have stone knife, when you're chopping down long wooden sticks with the stone knife, you're gonna get two back. I selected all of the big, all, all of the small sticks so you don't get mistaken. You're gonna get two small sticks with a hatchet. You're gonna get five. One, two, three, four, five. Insane amount. And also, for example, when you're crafting Skewer, it is gonna take or three long wooden sticks or three small wooden sticks. If you have a hatchet, if you chop those long wooden sticks, you're gonna have 15 small wooden sticks, which is insanely overpowered. Not just that, with chopping one small tree, you can make tree bark ropes, which means you don't even have to cut down regs for the improvised rope. You can get that tree bark rope, which is insane. But not just that, Stone X is a multi-purpose tool. But you don't have to do that. It took me only 500 hours in a game to realize that. <laughs> you need just small X. It is doing exactly the same job as the improvised wooden spear. You can actually craft two small X's and place them inside of, the, of your inventory to take exactly the same amount of slots like improvised wooden spear. We just need to find a puppet to just to demonstrate you what, what's up. When you're equipping Stone Axe, take in mind that you're dropping the hatchet on the floor. Just like you can smash him, show the hatchet. If you miss, like me, bad luck. Okay, we have two puppies on me. I'm gonna show you the another trick. Since we are, since we are uh, in the clutch, since we are in the clutch, Basically, the reason why you need those silent weapons is to kill puppets silently. You're not wasting any ammo and you're killing puppets. Easy. Let me just patch my wounds up. And also, another tip, use quick access. You're gonna save so much time with just knowing when your bandages are. You don't have to open inventory, search for the bandages, anything. Just keep in mind, okay, I'm always placing bandage on this and that quick spot, quick spot, quick spot, quick slot. Quick access. Anyways, after every single throwing, you will need to rebind it. And now when we have only one puppy on us, let's show again. Usually when you're playing on a full PvP server, 
No problem. And by the way, if you didn't know, you can also kill a puppy through the wall. If you see, if you see his head sticking right here, you can literally kill him through the collision. They are clipping through. Okay, let's find another puppies. And also, since we are talking about that, here is another tip. Have you seen how I kill them like that? You can always like you enter inside of a house with all closed doors. Uh, puppets do not have a vaulting system, vaulting mechanic in a game. And it it's so easy to kill them. Even when you're in a clutchy situation, you will have no problems to killing them. Like, you can just drag them next to the window and kill them through the window. And also, the another tip, like when you're in the military complex with the, a lot of uh, mechs, you can literally search for the puppets through the wall, through the, through the window, or like that, or like that. If, like in third person, if they are a little bit... On a, on a cheesy spot and search for the puppets the reason why you have to search for the puppets is because they are dropping really valuable stuff for example scissors and if you have scissors on you <coughs> let me just <coughs> if you have scissors on you you're gonna get insane amount of stuff back but let's just say if you don't even have scissors you don't even need to have a knife. You don't even need to have stone knife. Anything. You have stone axe. Even with the stone axe. You can cut those sweatpants. And you're gonna gain those rags. You're gonna get those dirty rag stripes. But the reason why you need to search for the puppies is because they are gonna give you scissors. Let me just show you how much rags and stripes you're gonna gain from the exactly the same item. And have you seen the speed? Your, your speed is drastically increased. You get two reg stripes more and you get two more regs, which means the higher quality of the item that you're using for specific stuff, better it is gonna be. And also the another thing about regs and bandages. Bandages are healing you way, way faster than regs. So if you see some kind of a emergency bandage, always swap your regs for the bandages. And like I said, always place those stuff in your quick access hotkeys and like I said don't you ever forget where you drop your weapon okay here is the another puppy okay this is the one with one situation uh, sometimes I have a easier times to melee them and hit them with the X in the first person sometimes I have a problems and I'm using third person so it just takes, it takes a little bit of a practice, but once when you figure it out, once you learn how to maneuver with those stuff, you're gonna have no problems. And trust me, always have some kind of a trouble in your inventory for those sick ass puppies. It is gonna save you a lot of bullets and it's gonna give you the advantage of your opponents. Because if you're shooting like a goddamn pleb, puppets with the bullets you're gonna give away your position and you're gonna become a goddamn prey and you do not want to become a prey in a survival game always be a predator ladies and gentlemen always be a goddamn predator okay the another thing why stone axe is the best is you can do one more really nice thing do you see this item guess what it can also open cans. I'm gonna show you in a fast how my inventory looked like. My loadout looked like this. I had improvised spear, I had stone axe, and I had a knife. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 slots. With a little bit of a practice. You do not need this, and you do not need this. Because this item right here, and this item right here are gonna give you the biggest efficiency possible to play this game properly. You're using stone eggs for everything and you're using scissors to get even more value. If you're really tied with that precious inventory slots, you can also drop scissors and you just need this. You just need stone eggs, guys. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the next one. Oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> you have to search puppets because they can drop you gunpowder. 
scissors, magnifying glass if you want to make that mask, and a bunch of other stuff that are really important. And also you're gaining fame by slashing them up. The only downside for the X between X versus Spear is that melee range. Spear has a higher melee range, but like I said, even if you have some problems in the beginning, get inside of those houses after you get the puppet aggro. Kill them from inside, it is really easy and you're, you're gonna be good to go. Okay, let's get out. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the next one. Erotic, out.